Welcome back. We're basically in the home stretch of a very exciting election season and campaigns are in overdrive to get folks out to vote. They might reach you via cell phone and even ask if you need help getting your ballot in. We got a tip from a Nebraska voter through our partnership with ProPublica's Election Land Project and 3 News Now investigator Jeff Van Sant looks into the issue of ballot harvesting. We're looking at the text message that I received from Kara Eastman's campaign. Getting a random text asking about your voting is normal during an election season, but a stranger asking if you want them to deliver your ballot sounds a bit fishy. Frank Lena thought it was. I was concerned because I don't, you know, with all the, the changes and the problems that we've been going through with uh, illegal voting supposedly and all the things that the president has been saying. Cara Eastman's campaign reached out to her, and that's normal, asking about who she's voting for and about the issues. Then she mentioned she's in a wheelchair. I said I was handicapped and I had a few issues, but and they, so, they, so they offered to, oh, well, we'll come and get your ballot. I said, what? <laughs> and I'm like, uh, uh, are you sure that's legal? It's a good question, and yes, it's legal. It's called ballot harvesting or ballot collecting. Some states are against it, not Nebraska. And there are campaigns that are genuinely just trying to be helpful, and they'll call and say, hey, if you voted your ballot, we'd be happy to come and get it for you. But some, like the Secretary of State, says that could change in the future because the possibility of fraud or that ballots are not being turned in and uses the May primary as an example. But of, of those hundreds of thousands of people who were sent ballots right away after they requested them, 15% didn't come back. 15% of the ballots that were sent out in the May primary weren't returned. What happened to them? What happened to them? The Secretary of State points out that this hasn't been a problem in Nebraska, but there are some checks and balances in place. You need to sign your ballot, no one else can vote for you, and you can track your ballot online at Voter Check. You can fill out your info and you can see when it was delivered. If it doesn't pop up, you can fill out a provisional ballot. Jeff Van Sant, 3 News Now. The 3 News Now investigative team is partnering with ProPublica to make sure no issue goes unnoticed. This story came up from a tip through this effort. You can text vote to the number on your screen to report an issue or to sign up for the election land project. And you can also find a form on our website.